good, YouTube? It's gonna be the video about how I started my business. I think I'm gonna do another video to it too, just to go a little bit more in depth about certain uh, things and uh, questions y'all might have, but I'm gonna just give y'all a little overview pretty much. So last year, uh, around May, I was in school for business marketing and uh, I was looking into you know ways to start a business. I had did a little background research on landscaping and some other uh, shoestring startup business ideas, and I ended up deciding to go with landscaping because it was one of the ideas that took the least amount of money to pretty much start up, and you can make you know the most amount of return off of that you know small investment. You know, so I was in school for marketing, so you know I learned about advertising a little bit, you know about. Uh, you know, finding customers and how to brand yourself and things like that. I went and got the research. I, it, it was simple. It was simple as what I did. Man. I took YouTube, pretty much learned everything I needed to know off of there. I ain't know too much about landscaping. You know, besides like cutting grass. And, you know, so I learned. I went into. I went onto YouTube. I started researching all types of how to how to run a landscaping business, how to do this in landscaping, how to do that in landscaping. You know, just anything that I thought. You know, a customer might ask me after I got a pretty much a general understanding of, you know, all the things I was going to be doing. So I probably spent like maybe a, a week, you know, just indulging in all types of videos, you know, just getting well uh, versed in the lingo, you know, uh, trying to learn pricing, you know, trying to learn, you know, just anything I could, really. And then uh, I started posting advertisements on Craigslist, you know, just pretty much to to test the market and see, you know, what what people is really, you know, looking for out here. You know, so after, uh, you know, I, I was able to test the market and see what actual jobs people were, you know, requesting from me. You know, so pretty much I post the ad. Oh, I had my, so all you needed really was, a, you know, email account is good if you get a logo made. You can go on Fiverr.com get a logo made for $5. Uh, so I had an email, you know, already. I had a good logo. Uh, I, I, I did an internship for Harley Davidson and ended up working there for a couple months. Uh, I was I was I was doing my internship, and then I worked a couple months after the internship into me starting the business. And once I uh, you know the business began taking off, so I had my logo made, I had my email and you know everything made up, uh, you know with the business name in it. I went out and got a business phone number. You know that way I, I went. I, you know I could. I could feel confident marketing and advertising this business and feeling like it's a real business because, you know, if you got a, a business phone number, then everybody, you know, can believe it's real, you know, which I was trying to be a real business, but I wasn't a legit, you know, landscaping company, like been doing this, but so I got the business number, the logo, email. Oh, I also got a website set up, but I didn't get the website set up right away. I waited a little bit after, you know, the business started turning profit, but, uh, so I had the email, business phone number, and the logo set up. I was posting ads on Craigslist, you know, listing the services that I had uh, I learned about or whatever or that I felt comfortable offering. And then uh, I waited for people to email me. So they would either email me or give me a call. So now after they, uh, you know, emailed me or gave me a call, you know, we'll set up to do a quote. So a quote is pretty much going out to the property and looking at what the client needs done. You know, or whatever they say they want you to do, you know, you go out, look at it, take notes, and just, you know, so that way, once you're done, uh, you know, get all the information you need, you can get back to them with the price, you know, a date that you can begin the project or whatever, you know, so I did that. I had a couple people lined up. My first couple jobs were, well, I'm just, uh, my first job ended up being for $350. It started off being a simple lawn mow. I found this customer off uh, Facebook. I started I started posting ads, my same ad that I uh, had. I, I kind of revised it and made it a little bit shorter for uh, just to fit on Facebook. And I was posting it in different Facebook groups and somebody had hit me up like, oh, I, I got a lawn that needs to be mowed. I think I charged them like 50 bucks uh, to do the mowing. And then uh, we, we went out there and it just ended up turning into more money because he liked it, the work we did. He liked it. You know, he had other stuff around the yard he wanted done. Like, how much was this? How much would this be for y'all to do it? Like, oh, that'd be an extra, you know, blah, blah, blah. He had some flowers he wanted planted. I charged him like 50, like, I charged him $50 for a thing of impatience. 
So I planted a, like a tray of impatience for them. I think like three trays, I, I, I charged them $50 per tray. It was sweet. So that job ended up being uh, $350 off my first job. And mind you, I had employees too. You know, I, from since I started, I had employees to work with because I didn't want to start a business where I'm out there, you know, the one breaking my back, you know, using, you know, all my uh, time and energy into, you know, just doing people's lungs. So what I did was, you know, I had uh, my little brother, uh, some family members, my auntie, uh, husband, you know, he was looking for work at the time, you know, a couple friends looking for work, you know, so I pretty much hired them. I told them like, hey, y'all, I got some work for y'all. I can pay y'all away and then, you know, if y'all like working with me, you know, we can, you know, keep running the business together. So a couple of them stuck around with me. I done hired, you know, fired some people in between there. But after that first job, that's when it kind of like clicked to me. Like, damn, like I'm making $350. I think off that $350, it took, it took us like maybe two and a half hours to do. Two people, four. So I probably paid them like 40 bucks, 50 bucks out of that 300. And I kept 300. And it was there two and a half hours. So it was just ridiculous to me. I'm like, yeah, this the way. But on my very second job, I ended up getting a job for $1,900. It was crazy. And that job ended up being for like a, a property out in Mequon. It was like weeding removing some bricks uh from his like a small pond i guess like the like the pond the riverbank area or whatever he, he had like a lot of bricks and debris down in there he wanted cleaned up the yard weeded uh some flowers transplanted in but it was sweet though 1900 you know I, uh i was able to hire uh some more of my family members off that job but you know i was able to uh you know just pretty much help out a lot of people around me from starting my own business which i wouldn't have been able to do you know, working for somebody else. So after I got the hang of that, that's all I continued to do was uh, post ads on Craigslist. I kind of stopped posting on Facebook because it wasn't really, you know, I was just getting so much clientele from Craigslist that I couldn't keep up with extra clientele. Like it literally got to that point. Like uh, I was able to buy myself, with, I made $50,000 within seven months. The first seven months, which the landscaping season for me was only seven, uh, seven months. I did uh, from May into like October. The end of October, I believe. So I was able to make fifty thousand dollars during that time. I was able to buy four work vehicles, uh, uh, you know, all kind of uh, landscaping equipment. You know, I got everything pretty much that I need. I was able to buy myself a Porsche. You know, I got this Porsche here. So I can see riding around in a little Porsche. You know, nothing major, but you know, it actually came from you know the hard work of running my own business so it felt even better and no it's no note on it it's, it's just you know it's a feeling that you get it's like playing a video game to me that's what bit start you know starting a business and business is like a video game to me like i don't really play video games at all but i love to look at business how people look at making accomplishments on a game you know things like that that's what i look at so every vehicle i was able to buy you know it felt like i hit a new you know level in the game you know or a new checkpoint or something you know then when I got the Porsche, it was like, okay, like, yeah, you know, I'm really doing something right here. And, you know, so in my, my best month, my first month, you know, I was still in school. I ended up dropping out. Uh, my first month doing it, I ended up making $10,000 uh, that first month. The second one, I did the same thing. And then, you know, it kind of just, you know, balanced itself out. But it was... You know, it was it was more money than I had ever made in that short period of time. To me, it was like, you know, okay, I done found another route. You know, I, I don't I was telling everybody I knew, you know, trying to put all my family members up on it, all my people. Like, hey y'all, we got a new route. That's how I started off. So I got a logo, business email, business phone number, posted ads to Craigslist, made sure I researched the services I was planning on offering. I don't like to get into something unless I know what I'm talking about. Like I'm not gonna try to start a business if I don't know enough background information to comfortably talk to the customers. I learned, you know, how to structure emails. It's a certain way you structure your emails or format the emails to make them look more professional. But I did all that, you know, from working at, uh, you know, Harley. I learned, you know, a lot of things that I implemented into the business. So that's another point, you know, anything that you learn professionally from any of your other jobs, take that right into your own business, you know, from customer service to timeliness to overall being a, a good business for your uh, customer in whatever way you can, you know.
and especially when it's your own business because it's your name on the line, you know, so you want to always make sure you're providing value to the customer. Like, even though it was new for me in a new business and something that I didn't really do before, I never was trying to finesse my clients. You know, I always tried to provide, you know, impeccable service. Like, most of my clients actually believed I was a professional landscaping service. You know, and, and and once we were done, they were happy with our work just as they would be, you know, from a professional. And some company or some people that who worked with professional companies before even said they preferred us. Now I, I ended up finding out because our prices were a lot lower than what these professional companies were charging too. But at the same time, if you can get quality work for a cheaper price, why wouldn't you be happy? You know, so that's what y'all gotta realize that y'all gonna fall into that area a lot don't be intimidated by like oh it's it's these big companies out here who've been doing this you know for forever or whatever you know and i'm just starting up as long as you because think about it, it's going to be people up here and it's going to be people down here as long as you come in above people down here it's going to be people that's not trying to pay the price of the, of the people up here so you can net all those people and you're just going to put money in your pocket which i promise you is going to be more than the boss was willing to pay you at some job working a nine to five look into different ideas they call shoestring startups all it means is uh, a shoot, like a shoestring budget. Means like doing something with little, you know, money or little resources. You know, you using what you got to make it happen. Like me, I started the landscaping business with about three hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, That's another good point. When I posted those ads, I looked at what jobs people were asking me to do, and then I waited. Like I started before I had any equipment. So after I got those emails saying what jobs they wanted. I looked at the average of what type of jobs they were. Then I went out to Menards, uh, Home Depot or whatever, and bought the equipment based on the jobs that they wanted, that people was asking me to do. So I, I pretty much, I think I bought like two lawnmowers in the beginning. I spent like 350, I bought like, uh, no, I bought, I spent 300. I spent 300 and made back 350 off my first job. So I profited 50, well, uh, paying my employees. I made $10 pretty much profit off that first job, but everything else was just profit. But uh, I bought those two lawnmowers. I bought like some shovels, some uh, some some hoes, some rakes, uh, like some shears, uh, like a little basic yard mate. It, it all came out to about three hundred total. Bought the two lawnmowers off Craigslist uh, for like forty five bucks each used. You know, so be resourceful. You know, don't spend more money than you got to. You know, think like a business. Try to save money. And another thing that was important is I invested. When I like, I was investing all the money right back into the business. Like I wasn't doing it for myself. Like any anything that was left over, I'll, I'll buy some more equipment, another tool, another bigger. You know, uh, every every big piece of big big piece of power equipment that you need allows you to do more jobs. Like you know, uh, some jobs I couldn't do because I didn't have a power rotor tiller or because I didn't have you know whatever the equipment was needed. You know, so that job, that next job I do after that, I'll use that profit to go buy that piece of equipment that I needed. And now I now I can do more jobs. I get I finish that job, get some profit, take that money, and do the same thing. And I just kept doing that, putting the money back into the business. Now I got equipment, I got vehicles, you know, and you know the, a business that's ready to grow. You know, so always remember that. Do not blow your shin. You know, not smart with the money. Put the money back into the business. You know, it'll pay off for you later. You know, that's all I got for right now. I'm gonna get back to y'all with more in depth information about how to post some of these ads and any uh. You know any other questions y'all might have how to talk to customers and this information does not just apply to landscaping you know, this is applicable to any pretty much service uh, type business I can see we here at the fourth property uh, he just want grading for the front yard so I'm assuming this area over here is where the grading will take place. Yeah, I'm assuming it'll be this right here. So what you do is just get a look in here. Hey, Tom? Yeah. Mark from Wisconsin Lawn Masters. Hey, how are you? Pretty good. Just coming to take a look at everything. Yeah, and for sure. Uh, do you mind if I record just to? Not at all. Okay. So, uh, is it this is just the area you plan on having graded, or the entire yard? Well, we'd like um, that kind of cleaned up and graded out over behind the the rocks. Okay. Um, this 
clean and graded. And then you can see we just had the driveway redone. Yeah. There's a low spot there. So okay. we'd like it kind of pitched out. And, okay. And then right. brought down. And you want to keep the rocks here, right? Yeah. Okay. So pretty much from the area of this uh this little ditch area we have here. Okay, then here just bring this up a little bit. See this here to here. It's probably about six to eight inches or What happened here? What's that? What happened here? This, oh, so, see how it's all buckthorn and, okay, and that yep, stuff? Yep. I brought in an excavator and I pulled it all out. Oh, okay. And then uh, this used, all that rock mm -hmm. used to be in here. This was the farmer's old rock pile before they put the neighborhood. Oh, wow. So they just put it over the top of it and they all said they'd come, come up. I'm like, well, <laughs> I'm going to make it a little bit of a rock wall. Good idea. There's probably some more under there. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's, I mean, these are all, these are all just been in our yard. Um, Even that. Uh, this huge, huge one in here, that was sticking up right there. I dug that out, and oh. that was an old um, an ash dump that was probably five and a half, six foot. That was a big crater when I pulled this dump out, so oh. I'll just throw it Okay, yeah, this is not a really big job. Usually we do new construction uh, homes and properties like that, so it's not too much. So I'll just uh, keep in contact with you with uh, email mm -hmm. and then just get back to you with the quote. Perfect. Right. Awesome. Yeah, Thanks. Appreciate it. Yep. Let's just get one more so y'all can see. So we got to make sure this area here we hidden and that we uh, not only watch out for some of these rocks here because he definitely wants to keep these, but uh, that we uh, work around them in a way so that the grade is still level. So um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this one. So uh, the way this would be quoted is you would go about your your size, length, uh, length and width. I estimate 50 by. Once you once you do these jobs enough, you could just begin to estimate. So I estimate it's just about 50 by 50 and. Maybe a foot, 50 by 50 over one foot. And then we got this area over here. We got this. So as you can see, it's about, just about six to eight inches. And um, how you would do that is calculate the amount of, so once you figure out the size, the area you'll be grading, you you figure out the amount of topsoil and and whatever labor and equipment to go into it. So for grading, I estimate this uh, to bring in the dirt and fill in this this ditch over here. I estimate we can get this all filled in, all this here from over here to here. Uh, with about a foot of topsoil and about 
that shouldn't take more than that's maybe eight hours. I would say that's a that's an eight hour job. I would charge him probably eight hours for that. And the way I got that is just by from experience grading is more of something that you have to take time and learn. But once you get the hang of it, you can uh you'll you'll know how much you should be charging later based on the size. So for grading, there's some uh calculators on online where you can just type in the amount of square feet that you'll be grading and they'll provide you with the amount that you should be charging based on that but for me in my business i already have a set number and a, a formula that i charge for grading and it's just based off of the size of the project how much topsoil we'll need and how many people i think i'll be bringing in for labor we're here right now we just got to the property we just got to Sandra's house. I told y'all this is a $2,500 job. We want to pick up. Uh, this payment should be $1,283 right now. We're going to take a quick walk back here. We got the job. Load the van. Set the payment. Take to the back door for me. So we're gonna walk back here. We'll grab that. So as you can see, she has the payment right there. Already in the door. I don't know if you can see it right here. Let me zoom in on it. It says Lawn Masters on the front. Open it up. I don't know if y'all can see that, but this check is for thirteen hundred. Here at the bank, they just gave me this. So here at the US Bank, you can actually see it. Uh, I'll show y'all a quick deposit slip and the actual 1300. Now, this money is for this 1300, as you can see, dated August 1st, uh, 1 29 p.m. That's today's date for 1300. And I got 1300. Do a quick count. But this is only half of the payment. I still got another thirteen hundred to pick up. But y'all can see it this way. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen hundred. So I'm still going to pick up another thirteen hundred after uh, we get done with this job. So that's going to be twenty six hundred, you know, in two days. And I'm not even doing the work. I'm trying to tell y'all this landscaping is some good money. Good money in it. So uh, I'll check back in with y'all once I get to the job.
What's good, YouTube? I'm here to show y'all quickly how to post ads to Craigslist a quick way and as well as what a good ad should actually look like. So after you're done creating your email, you know, for your business or whatever, and you got your Craigslist user account set up, it'll prompt you to this screen here once you uh, come to Craigslist. So you'll click on the My Account uh, part. Now this is just, this just applies for the ad I already have. You'll have to create your own, uh, the own body to your uh, ad that you uh, have yourself. So what I'll do is I'll come in here, uh, copy paste this. I already got this ad already printed, matter of fact, or already typed up. Matter of fact, let me read it off to y'all real quick. Wisconsin Lawn Masters is a full service professional landscaping, lawn care and snow removal company. With over 10 years experience, we can make recommendations and answer all of your questions. Don't spend more when you don't have to. We offer great work for great prices. We design, install, and maintain landscapes for commercial and residential properties. Whether it's now or later, keep us in mind for all your landscape needs. We specialize in landscape revitalization and maintenance. We carry full insurance coverage. Send inquiries to lawnmasters414 at gmail.com. Contact us now for a free quote at the phone number uh, it also has our business uh website address on uh, the email the web, the business email again here also at wisconsin lawn masters on facebook and twitter i actually don't even use those uh social media sites really but it just looks more i do have the site set up to the name but i don't post content there it just adds more value uh to the customer when the customer is reading over this got the phone number there again and then I break down into the list of services. Uh, service include complete new lawn installation, seasonal cleanups, weeding and weed treatments, tree pruning, bush slash brush trimming, edging, rototilling, hauling in debris removal, decorative stone, paver stones and walkways, flower beds, fences, retaining walls, stone staircases, ponds and pools, seating and fertilize, uh, fertilization, siding, grading, excavation, aeration, mulching, graveling, seal coating, pressure washing, painting, and snow removal. Need lawn care and landscaping while you're away from home? No problem. Weekly, bi-weekly, and monthly maintenance. So pretty much that's what a, a good ad should look like. Got a, a logo here, Wisconsin Lawn Masters with the subtext, landscaping, lawn care, snow removal, pretty much so they know exactly what the business is about. And the simple title for the ad, do you want a better looking yard? It's just a question. They when they scrolling through there, that's probably what they came, you know, to Craigslist for is because they want a better looking yard. So that's that answers the, you know, that asks them that question right there and puts it right in front of them. And then uh, so after you got this copy pasted, let me just copy paste this one more time just in case I didn't. Copy paste the body of the text. Now you can scroll up here to post it. So now what you'll do is click post. It'll say, what type of posting is this? Is this a job posting? Is it a gig offer? Is it a resume? Is it a housing uh, posting? And it's not, it's a service offer. So service offer. And then it says, please choose a category. So which category does it most likely fit in? Automotive, beauty, cell phone, computer, creative, cycling, events, farm and garden. That's where I post for landscaping. Then you just paste it in here into the posting body section. Scroll up here, make sure you got everything, okay? Another thing is too, when you're on your ads, you want to make sure you click show contact information. So that way, when you're copy pasting this, all this, all these options expand and you can copy paste this. So next you just add in the title. It should be a suggestion already there from the last time you did it. If you haven't, just do it that one time and it should be able to uh, automatically be there suggested for you. Uh, just click now the cities that I put it in. And then uh, now you just add your uh, you add your uh, zip code. So put the zip code in. Now show my real email address. Always click that. You want to always click that part so that way in here your real email pops up and Craigslist doesn't block it or Craigslist doesn't uh, give the person you're trying to market to that fake made up Craigslist uh, email. Always click uh, by phone and by text. You know you want to you want you want the customers to be able to contact you as many ways as possible. And don't forget, I always take show uh, on maps off because I specifically don't have a office location, so that uh, way it doesn't uh, have them trying to you know exactly see where I'm where I'm located. Uh, the business phone number in there. 
after you got that done just move this up here and then you just click on continue now it's going to ask you uh, to add images so in order to add an image you just go in here grab your logo and once you got the logo you can just click done with images after you're done with the images you just scroll the whole ad just to check it out does everything look right you got your title there you got your logo with the image you got all the text there all the information the client needs email phone number other places they can find you you got all the services that you're offering there so right away when they see this one ad here they can know if you can help them or not then you go down here click publish after it's published now thanks for posting with with us we really appreciate it view your post at here you go and now your post is live or active as critically says so this is the way you do this and like I said as you once you already do this the first time all those things will pop up in the suggestions once you start typing except for the body of the text so for the body of the text you will have to go to a previous ad each time and copy paste that as I was showing y'all when I did this little thing here but don't forget remember when I said to make sure you click show contact info because if you don't click show contact info and you copy paste that you'll when you when you copy paste it it'll have show contact info in place of all your business information so uh, i hope this was helpful